Hey everybody, this is Alex, healthhacksreview.com. So in this video, I'm reaching out to health practitioners and also home users who are very confused by the concept of all the back and forth confusing information out there. Uh, different laser companies talking about how much better the efficacy is for their special wavelength. Most commonly, we see class three companies talking about 810 or 808 nanometer. Uh, one company does 830, but the point is in the 800s. And then we also see several class four companies uh, talking a lot about the superiority of 980, 940. So this is yet again, just another very confusing area on trying to get back to the facts versus techno babble and just unsubstantiated claims. And so I've been in this industry a little bit about me for a while. If you've watched some of my other videos, I do look very young, but I've been in the industry, the laser industry for the last 10 years, um, reviewing and uh, looking at all the different brands, selling multiple brands. Uh, currently, I do provide consultation one-on-one, -on -one, and I do also sell for multiple brands. So please reach out to me if you need one-on-one uh, -on -one to answer your questions and figure out what's going to be the best brand or model. So to go more a little further into this, point about different wavelengths. So absolutely wavelengths uh, do affect how infrared um, is going to be traveling into the body. Okay, we know that. However, if you go back to the studies, and I'm always citing studies versus just random claims, and there's plenty of just unsubstantiated claims out there in the laser industry. But if you actually look at the studies, what you'll find, unfortunately, is that there is some good studies in the 808 and 810 sort of range showing good efficacy. And then we also see the same thing with 980 and 940. And what makes things even more confusing is that most of those 808, 810 studies, as I said, was funded and performed by companies usually in the back end that were class three or class three manufacturers. Uh, versus being totally unbiased individuals just doing studies. Uh, there's a couple exceptions, um, but that's it's usually those class three terms of manufacturers and companies. Same thing for the 940, 980. Those studies in general are funded and run by class four manufacturers and class four companies. And I've looked pretty critically at those studies, and honestly, they're all pretty well done, and I do think they have truth in them uh, in terms of actual efficacy. I think ultimately, though, the takeaway here is that there probably isn't too much of a, a real increase in efficacy going either direction, either going into the 900s or staying in the 800s. That's the ultimate conclusion here. Actually. The kind of uplifting conclusion is that infrared works and we know a lot about its biological action and that pretty much a lot of those actions are very similar on sometimes identical be it from 800 up to a thousand okay and so that's a great conclusion for laser therapy works it's really great stuff right so you're probably hoping to get an answer from this video but the most important part of this video is to help you become more discerning and realize that a company that's promising you and showing you studies, you know, their wavelengths, the best, it's not really accurate. There isn't the best, right? So it's really still kind of a gray area, but the ultimate conclusion is that that whole range has a lot of efficacy. It is very well studied over the last 25 years thousands of studies in that in in those nanometer wavelengths so that's the good news is it is very studied so you're not buying into something that hasn't been totally proven um, at the same time uh, just to go on a kind of a side topic that's maybe related um, if you see lasers that have multiple wavelengths that they're offering um, there's some very well-known brands you probably all know about that have multiple wavelengths uh, there is no real uh, unbiased uh, studies or really just a total lack of studies looking at multiple wavelengths combining together to increase efficacy to increase therapeutic outcomes uh, unfortunately a lot of that's just technobabble marketing 
and there's really nothing substantial there proving um, that it's better than just a single wavelength coming out of a single diode, okay? So you will for sure encounter that in your research or just advertisements coming at you. Uh, so just know that that's an important thing to not get caught up in that and spend extra money getting the multiple wavelengths thinking that there's some absolute sort of evidence that it's going to do you better than just something single. Okay. Um, and so, yes, there are also lasers that do do the 800 and the uh, 9, you know, 9 range. And if you see the term dual wavelength, dual wavelength on these types of devices where you have no option of controlling um, either wavelength, even if they claim that you do, <laughs> it's really a mess, kind of what some of these companies do. But... Even if they claim that you do, it's actually just more of a fixed um, sort of power level uh, where you, when you have a dual wavelength like that, people think, well, it's better to have multiple wavelengths. Now, really what has more of the effect on efficacy that we've seen is the amount of power density coming out of a single diode, okay, on a single wavelength. So again, we haven't seen really any efficacy studies combining the two, okay? We also haven't seen any studies showing, uh, comparing the two, where it goes, like, we're going to treat with 810, and we're going to treat with 980, and see which one works better. That would be great if there was that study. It doesn't exist, okay? But as far as dual wavelength, same thing. Doing two at the same time in the tissue, increasing therapeutic outcomes hasn't been proven, okay? No matter what they claim to you, no matter what they promise, all right? No matter what discount they provide you <laughs> on their laser, all right? So just stay sober and and clear and discerning. But the issue with, again, the forced or the locked in dual wavelength is that if we say had, and I talked about this in another video, by the way, um, is if we say we have 10 watts, we bought a 10 watt laser that was dual wavelength, gave you the two, it has to split that total power up between both diodes. So you see five watts and you see another five watts, okay? But what we know from studies is that now when you split it up like that, you have the output power of five watts coming out of one diode. It's kind of now like having two five watt lasers that you duct tape together, right? And you're shining kind of on similar spots where you're holding two five watt lasers. It's kind of what you've purchased. You've purchased two five watt lasers. Um, but what they're trying to claim is that combining them together not only creates 10 watts, that it's equivalent to 10 watts coming out of a single diode. That's what, that's the first claim. The second claim is that it's superior to that. <laughs> when you're combining the two and it's the different wavelengths, it's gonna outperform a 10 watt 810 laser or a 10 watt 980 laser. So they have two claims in there that some of these companies, and then of course, it's a similar set of claims for if it's three wavelengths or four wavelengths, whatever. Uh, but again, when we're coming back to therapeutic efficacy and depth of penetration and things like that, some of the main reasons for getting high power class four in general, we really have to keep things simple and focus on power density coming out of a single diode uh, and the wavelength that that is, okay? And getting the best value cost per watt for the amount of power coming through that one diode. Okay. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If you have any types of questions about what I've said, you want me to elaborate a little bit further, simply set an appointment with me or just shoot me a quick email. Uh, I'd be happy to help. Uh, again, you can find my email address, contact form on my website, healthhacksreview.com. You can find the description below. Uh, and again, be happy to make sure that you get the right device for your unique set of needs for your practice or for home use. And again, thanks for watching.